Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Our celebration today and tomorrow, they remind us of the church in three various states and our unbreakable link in Christ. The church militant, the church suffering, and the church triumphant. The church militant refers to the church on earth where we all currently belong. It refers to an authentic reality that the church on earth works to overcome the imperfect and sinful dimensions of our existence. In our battle to overcome such tendencies, remember, we are not alone in the struggle. We have brothers and sisters who pray for us, the church on earth has a link to the other two states of the church. Tomorrow, we will remember the church suffering, the church in purgatory. In purgatory, all those who have reached the gates of death without reaching the full perfection of life represented in Christ are cleansed in a kind of ongoing baptism and purified by the enlightening fire of the Holy Spirit. The suffering of purgatory is not one of destruction, but the suffering that comes from leaving the old self behind and taking on the new. They are assured of heaven, but their suffering through purification is still immense, requiring our prayer and sacrifices as consolation. They cannot pray for themselves, but they can pray for us, and we can pray for them. Today, we remember the third and final state of the church, the state we and the suffering church all hope to be part of one day, the church triumphant, the church in heaven. All of those souls in heaven are saints, for nothing holy may be in the presence of God. Their prayers are efficacious, for they are in the midst of to whom we pray to. Saint Therese of Lisieux, nearing the end of her life, said that in her death, she will enter a new life, and she will be much more useful than she is now to the souls who are dear to her. How? Through her prayers. Saint Padre Pio also said the same thing. I will be able to help you more from heaven than I can on earth. These saints know the power of prayer, not only here on earth, but much more in the presence of God in heaven. Brothers and sisters, today as we remember all the saints in heaven, we are reminded of the unbreakable link we have with them through our baptism. In Jesus, we are all connected and the suffering of one part affects the entire body of Christ. They know our struggles and so they pray for us, for the grace to overcome sin and reach perfection to where they are now. But we don't have to wait passively, my dear brothers and sisters. We have to cooperate with the grace that they are asking for us in prayer. We have to start being holy right here and right now. Our gospel reminds us that the road to holiness is not only about towing the line. Being a Christian is a lot more than not doing things which are wrong. The Beatitudes, remember, are expressed in positive terms. They also express not just actions, but attitudes. You can always go further with the spirit of the Beatitudes, and they are a true and reliable recipe for sainthood. They leave no room for self-righteousness. For saints are not self-made people. Hindi natin kayang mag-isa. Saints are people who have responded generously to the love of God showered on them. 
and the completion of that love is to be invited to share life with God forever in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, all saints in heaven, they are a picture of total victory and the end of all the pains and sorrows that they endured in this life. It is an occasion of great thanksgiving and we look forward to the day when we too can be with them experiencing the same total happiness but for now let us choose every day to live holy and ask them to pray on our behalf that we may live our lives in faithfulness so that we too one day may experience the same reward. Amen.